Quote, I've always been strong at creating doubt in my opponents. What are your thoughts on using mental performance techniques to bring down opponents and give your team an edge? Well, how do you know you're bringing down your opponents? How do you know you're creating a psychological edge? I think the greatest psychological edge that you can create for yourself is confidence, energy, and competing in the present moment. You might have all these strategies. You might be a trash talker like Conor McGregor or a Muhammad Ali, but when you really look at it, what they're trying to do is build up their own image. You see, no matter what you say, no matter what you do, you don't have control and influence over other people. Now you can impact other people, but that's outside of your control too. That person has to make a choice to allow what you're saying as a competitor, what you're doing as a competitor to impact them. And I look at my friend George St. Pierre, a client who I worked with in his last decade of his UFC career. And George would always get into the octagon with trash talkers, right? Whether it was a Michael Bisbing or it was a Matt Serra, he just realized I can't control what they say, I can control what I do and how I respond. He is also a fighter that would acknowledge and admit on ESPN that he was afraid to get into the cage on Saturday night. And he said, when I admit that I have fear, I can now use that fear as fuel. He was focused completely on himself and what he could control, not on what anyone else would say, not on what anyone else would do. Honestly, I've never even thought about a psychological warfare tactic against an opponent because it's not controllable. And if it's not controllable, I don't give it a second worth of thought. What we have talked about was the importance of posturing with big body language because of what it does for you physiologically and hormonally. Thank you, Amy Cuddy, for your research on the decrease of cortisol and the increase of testosterone. We have talked about the way you walk to the octagon and faking it till you make it, projecting confidence, not because of what it does to your opponent, but because of what it does for you. It's got nothing to do with intimidation. It's got nothing to do with the other team because frankly, when you compete, the other team is a nameless, faceless opponent that's in your way. So focus more on the psychological warfare you play with yourself to get yourself ready to compete than you do about intimidating other people because it's not controllable. Dominate the day.